Welcome back to the third segment of the All Things Fun New Comics Midcast. This is our special kids edition. I'm here with Thomas and Glenn Walker, and I'm Allison Eckel. Tom, what do you have for us today? Um, we have a new Batman Brave and Bold issue 10. Awesome. Although I think, well, from what I remember, there have been like way more than 10 issues. Well, this is the all new this is Batman all, Brave yeah, and Bold. Well, the the main character right now is um a guy who can't get a job and he starts working as a henchman but he keeps moving from city to city. Okay. And he's not really a bad guy, but But maybe making making so questionable choices. So he's not very good yeah. at being a, at henching, is he? Yeah, he's no. he's not good at being bad. Yeah. But he's not bad. He's just doing it for a living. Okay. So who who are the guys that he works for? Um, Toy Man. Toy Man. Um, um, Which, and we, see, we see Superman in there too. Yep. Not that he's working for Superman. Superman. Uh, Clock There's King. Clock King, King and yeah. there's Green, Green Arrow. Arrow. Green Arrow is our show, yeah. And also Ocean Master and um, Aquaman. Aquaman. Aquaman's evil yep. half-brother. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, I thought it was his brother, not half-brother. Oh, I didn't know. Well, it depends on the day. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and Glenn, you wanted to make a comment about Ocean Master's costume. I don't think we've seen it in the cartoon, the Brave New World cartoon, and it's kind of... No, we have. I think, I think we, we have. have. I think we've seen a different okay. Ocean Master. Right? Oh, yeah, we've seen well, it different. This costume Ocean isn't Master. quite recognizable. Yeah, we've seen it seen a different um, looking kind of more classic. Mm. Well maybe this this is different. his brother and maybe the one that's more classic is his half brother. <laughs> his brother from another whose timeline brother infinite from another Earth. mother. From an yes. infinite earth, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> that's my kid, that's my boy. What else do you have here? Is that everything? Okay, oh, so it's a, it's a cautionary um, tale of, of choices in a hard economic climate. It's actually a very, very touching book. Um, there's a new Spongebob. Cool. Yeah. Always um, funny. Yep, and... Is that plankton being looking bigger than Spongebob? Well, actually, it's... What's a mecha plankton? Um, it's, uh, a robot. Robot. Bo robot. Robot. Sorry. What would the robot do? <laughs> Okay. This is not Futurama. This is SpongeBob. Mm. So we, it's a good story. Got funny. Yeah. Um, in the SpongeBob issue, there's always a bunch of little stories. Here's Are there one. activities too? Well, here's um, draw what came out of the can, like Squidward right. gets right. For for aspiring artists. <laughs> Do kids actually draw in their yeah. comics? We, SpongeBob, yes. We we photocopy them. Oh, I, <laughs> so I didn't see this. Them. I did not we see this. The I did not see this. So <laughs> it really is a cracker out. <laughs> well, we had the great, the really great DC Super Friends comic that was for young young readers. Fantastic comic. Oh no, it was comic. for older readers too. Well, we all enjoyed it, but but it appealed. My five year old really loved it. This one handed them down to the five year old. We keep them really nice because they're awesome and they don't make yeah. them anymore. But we photocopy out the the cutout activities and everything so that they can just keep creating so nice. <laughs> What else do you have there? I see, anyway. I see strawberry shortcake. Yes. Strawberry shortcake Did you was pick out. That time? Obviously not. Mommy <laughs> um, picked it. Uh, it was out last week, but it's still awesome. It's one of four. Four, yes. Her first time in comics in her twenty five year lifespan. It contains three short, very tasty stories of friendship. Really? I know, I know. I'm, I'm really? laughing a lot. Yes. <laughs> yes. But all right. So there's no shoot 'em ups and bad guys and things like that. But for for young girl readers, it they're really fun stories. And it's a different format and it's one that might attract especially reluctant readers to sit down and enjoy a story. Or if they're a little young, like kindergarten age. It's a great thing for mommy or daddy to read to them. Yes, it is. My little girl won't put it down. <laughs> and 
and she carries it everywhere. <laughs> yeah, was it true what I hear that there's going to be a My Little Pony crossover? <gasps> Gasp! That is very, very untrue. It's very untrue. No, okay. he's making a joke. Um, more funny would be uh, My Little Pony crossing over with like. Mega Man. Mega, Mega Man. Man, right, like something else like that. My Little really Mega funny. Man. That actually is a Thomas pick. Yes, what, what do you have to Mega tell Man. us about Mega Man? Well, Number um, four for Marching. Um, Show us the cover. Uh, Mega Man issue <laughs> four, I think. Yes, for Archie um, Comics. Oh, right. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so, I don't really know what the s starting is going so on with. You don't know much about Mega Man's story. Okay, did you have a chance to read through this one? Um, not really, but I think I have a pretty good chance with, um, pretty, pretty good idea of what's going on, like. Okay, tell us a little bit about what you've gleaned from who is Mega Man, what's going on, something like that. Mega Man is, like, um, I think he's just like a normal guy in a, like an exosuit. So, well, kind of like Iron Man. Yeah, kind of like Iron Man. But, with bigger um, eyes. Yeah, yeah, with bigger eyes. But with anime eyes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anime, Iron Man. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Or um, big eyes. Did it look like a fun adventure? Yeah, um, because I think they're in training and, um, he kind of gets cloned. Oh. So That's that never happens. good. Look at that. <laughs> and, and of course, the, the Mega Man clone has red eyes. So like, he knows oh. it's different. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the, not quite the, the evil clone always has red eyes. <laughs> cool. And um, there are different guys, and they have battles with different powers. Like there was an ice power, a bomb power, a strong power. A Firepower. Have you ever played the Mega Man video games? There's Mega, Mega Man. That's that's Mega where it comes from. Oh, so this, oh. Is, this comic oh. is based on yes. video games. Yes, like like wow. Sonic. Oh, oh, oh Sonic. yeah. Awesome. Oh. So cool. Mega that's a good pick. And also, we talked about this on one of our earlier segments, but also out today is Marvel Adventure Superheroes Hawkeye and Black Widow, which you now these are Avengers characters, yes. and not we don't usually see these in kids' comics, but this is a all ages. Yes, it is. Approved. Family friendly. Comic. So if you have slightly older readers who are, are want to get into superhero comics, this is a, a decent way to do that. Without, Good interruption. Without going to the adult lot level of violence and whatnot. That's what comics used to be. Yes, this is <laughs> when I was in kindergarten and started reading comics, this is what they were like. Get off my lawn. <laughs> well, well, it's like you were talking about Super Friends earlier. Yeah. And that has the flavor and the, the type of storytelling from the old Silver Age show. Yes. Which, yeah, which was, true. was cool. What else do you have in there, Tom? We have Wind Up Toys, Ugly Dolls. Wind Up Dolls. I'm not sure mine how this work. one's supposed to work. That one crawls across slowly. Oh, that one's sideways. That's and I think this one has that a fit. loud. It's a sidler. This one is having a fit. Okay. Are you going to talk about the Pokemon? Oh, yeah. Pokemon. And we have to talk about how you read them. Yep. You read them from back to front. Volume right. 1 and Volume 2 of Pokemon Black and White Manga graphic novels. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the funny thing about it, it's in black and white. It's it's black and white, and it's also black and white. <laughs> um, and they're manga, so you don't yep. you don't read them in the direction we're used to. Yes. Okay, we're, we're running short on time. So yep. we're going to move forward a little bit. These are the coolest things in the store this week. These are ice cube trays. Ice cube trays. Han Solo, Frozen, and Carbonite. And R2-D2. R2-D2. Awesome. Also, because um, because Spider-Man is cool, and Spider Island, the, the current um, uh, story in Amazing Spider-Man, is awesome. I you can pretend you're in New York and put the hat on. Right. I just wanted to point out that there is a great Spider-Man hat here at All Things Fun, along with tons of other cool hats. And because it's back to school, I want to show. Sonic. Speaking of Sonic, this is a great bag. I'm sorry, Thomas, of Sonic, and it's nice and roomy. Lots of compartments. It's even good for your younger, for the younger fans, just to just to carry toys and bring toys to friends' houses. It has a, a laptop section. What? Thank you. 
my little Vanna White thing going on. You're, you're like that chick on the Prince is Right. You're pretty happy. Here it is. I like it. it. It does have a strap, though, that was tucked inside. And it's just tons of fun. <laughs> Show your sonic pride. Show and are we, we are out of time. All right, or whatever. We are out of time. Thank you very much for uh, sticking with us in the third segment of All Things Fun Thin Cast. We'll see you next week. <laughs>